definitely sunshine in the winter time at the Mark in Houston tonight. As you can tell by the look of the crowds, there's a ray of sunshine going on, even though it is a cold winter night. Everyone having a really good time and definitely enjoying a few laughs from the comedian tonight. Hey, we're getting pretty good here on the table, too. I think a lot of people spending as much money as they can. They're bidding it up, too. The auction's still in great. Every time I look down, someone is spending more money. They're enjoying some wine tasting in here. So a magical night. They've spent months trying to make this happen, and guess what? It has all come to life, and it is a super success. So kudos to everyone who made it happen. Katita Currens, you are an angel for coming up with this bright idea. It worked. Way to go, my friend. to the Sunshine in the Winter Time event this evening. We're so grateful that you're here. And we're gonna introduce you to one of our most favorite Sunshine kids. What, tell us your name. Dominic Dybala. And what do you think about this event tonight, Dominic? Uh, this event has been one of my favorites, actually. There is uh, first great food, uh, some speeches, and I got to play blackjack for the first time. It's really great to get together with all these people. <laughs>
see Katita Currens. Good evening to you. It looks like a super success so far. It has been an incredible success. We're so insanely happy. In fact, I was just talking to a good friend and supporter of the Sunshine Kids that came in to make sure he put the first auction bid on the Supercar Club that's downstairs at $3,000. So we're very, very excited. We've got another item over here. It's already up to, it looks like 2600 for the trip to the Bahamas, and the night is early, so we're very excited to see that. We've got such great items here. We're just so happy and overwhelmed with the support. It's been fantastic. When all of the dollars come in, how big of a difference do you think this will mean to not only the Sunshine Kids, but all the children who will benefit? I'm just going to talk to you guys. It's almost priceless, we should say, for all these dollars that are coming in. There's, there's no amount of joy that you feel in your heart when you see the smile on these children's faces. And every dollar that's coming in tonight is making that smile bigger and brighter. And we're so excited to be the ones to help to contribute to it. It's a good place to be, isn't it? It really is. Thanks, Melissa. <laughs> Thank you for coming out, baby. How y'all gonna say yeah, baby? Yeah, baby. One more time, you gonna say yeah, baby. Yeah. All right. Woo. Walter from the te uh, Tennessee Titans, formerly of the Houston Texans, I understand. Is it a little bit of a change not being in your uh, home city playing? It is. It is for sure. But, you know, we've been here for a few years and, and uh, you know, we definitely miss Houston, but, you know, we're working in Tennessee right now, but, but we're glad to be back. And so being back, it's also one of those things that you are a huge endorser and supporter of the Sunshine Kids. What does the Sunshine Kids mean to you? Oh, it means a lot. You know, it means it means more than you can imagine. You know, just, just a visit with the kids and, and, and visit with their families and, and getting a smile on their face and kind of just, you know, get, basically distracting them from what they're going through. And, and uh, it, it means the world. So being here at Sunshine in the wintertime, um, I noticed that you were looking at this amazing auction item. That And have you put your name down? Uh, not yet, but I am talking to my wife right now, and uh, we, we definitely want to do it. Because, I mean, we're, you're going to be going to Wyoming, and it's an incredible excursion. So, and that's kind of what the Sunshine Kids does. It, it sends these kids out to an excursion, right? Absolutely, yeah. It, it is. You know, right here, Wyoming, you know, we've never been to Wyoming, and supposedly you got some bird hunting, and you're staying at a beautiful place, and obviously everything goes to the Sunshine Kids, and it's, it's definitely worth it, and we're looking forward to it.
just want to thank you and Republic for your support here tonight. It has meant so much to us. You know, the vodka sponsorship that you gave us, the scotch, the everything. I mean, you really pulled through last minute. You're really there for the Sunshine Kids. What did you think of the event tonight? This is absolutely amazing like the fact that you put this all together it's huge and the cause is even more amazing because you're giving these children the opportunity to hope you know like when you have something like cancer it's very hard to think hey you know what but I wanted to be an astronaut and I still have the chance to do that you don't think that way you know you think well I have a disease and I'm not gonna be with my friends stuff like that you know but so something like this it gives them hope and it's incredible. It's incredible. I'm very happy that we were able to be a part of the summertime and wintertime. Sunshine. 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 But it is like summertime. I'm with you on that one. It's summertime at 45 degrees outside in Houston. Right. Sunshine and wintertime. I'm here with Dr. Frank Lynn of Texas Children's Hospital. He is an oncologist who is not only a longtime treater of children's uh, cancer, he is also an incredible incredible supporter for the Sunshine Kids. Now, Dr. Lin, having cancer is not fun, is it? No, it's a terrible, it's a terrible, con it's a terrible situation both clinically and medically, and of course socially, but just so much of what we ask the kids and their families to do. So it's, it's absolutely, it's terrible, for, it's just a terrible thing to have to deal with. Now, children that have cancer, they're not allowed to live a normal life. There's no playing in the dirt. There's no going out with friends. There's no going to the movies even. Correct? No, that's absolutely correct. And it's good and bad. It's good partly because for a lot of the tumors that we take care of in children, we have fantastic treatments. I say fantastic because we really do have a, a certain success rate in curing a lot of these cancers. But at the same time, in order to give these treatments, they can be extremely harsh. And we ask the kids to give up so much of their lives in order to do that. We ask them to give up um, time with their friends, time with their families, time with their siblings. We lock, we keep them in a hospital in order to do a lot of these things. And we ask them to go through things that, that can hurt because we need needles and to get, we need to get blood work. We give medicines that don't necessarily feel good. They certainly cause a lot of nausea, your appetite's down, you feel weak, you feel tired all the time. Um, and so it's great to have an option for the kids, not just to distract themselves, but to look forward to and to recover their sense of identity because of what we're asking them to do. And apparently, uh, we didn't do a very good job putting the signage up for the casino. What? I know, can you believe it? I thought we did a really good job, really, I did, I did. But apparently we forgot to tell you why you're gambling. So, first of all, we want to let you know that not only are you gambling to help support the Sunshine Kids, but there are a few prizes that are involved in this. Yes, one of the prizes is a membership to this club that you guys are all enjoying tonight. So that you can host your own party here next time you have an event, whether it's a corporate event or your birthday party, this is where you want to have it.